The People, the headlines, the issues impacting you and your family. This Week in Cincinnati on 9 on Your Side. Good morning and welcome to This Week in Cincinnati. I'm Kristen Hartman. First today, raising Ohio's gasoline tax. On Thursday, Governor Mike DeWine announced he wants to increase the tax by 18 cents to a total of 46 cents a gallon. That would be in addition to the federal gas tax of just over 18 cents a gallon. The director of the Ohio Department of Transportation says the state desperately needs the money to pay for fixing its aging infrastructure. Safety is our number one priority. Our, our, our mission is to safe, reliable people and goods from place to place. And our job is to make sure that this system works and is in good compare. You probably know this, any kind of gas tax is usually controversial. People we spoke with said they understand the roads need to be fixed, but many did not like the idea of paying a higher tax to cover the repairs. I don't think they should. They should find it in other ways. Mm -hmm. How much more would that, would that be a hardship for you? Another 18 cents a gallon? Yeah, it's already expensive. Mm -hmm. Gas is already really high, I think. I couldn't imagine having to drive and pay that much more than I already do. I spend probably at least 20 bucks, if not more, each week, so I'd hate for it to increase even more. So what would that increase cost you? The U.S. Department of Transportation says the average person drives about 13,500 miles a year. And the EPA says the average car gets about 25 miles per gallon. That works out to an added cost of $97 a year, or about 26 cents a day. Joining us now to talk more about the tax and Ohio's infrastructure problems are Mark Polisinski, the CEO of OKI, the Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana Regional Council of Governments, and WCPO transportation reporter Pat LaFleur. Thank you both for being here. So we Thanks just goodness. heard from folks. They're not taking to that news of an increased gas tax at the state level kindly. How do you make the case? Shocking. <laughs> um, it's a matter of paying for something that you desperately need. Uh, the simple fact is a gas tax has never been initiated with popular opinion. Uh, what we're seeing all across the country is that this is occurring. And that's because people understand that they have to have safer roads, better roads, safer bridges, better bridges, so that they can conduct their business. Uh, we're talking about a safety issue here, and we're also talking about economic development. And so what you, to get these things fixed, we don't have a system other than the gas tax that can generate that many dollars for our needs that large. Um, so we have to increase the gas tax. Safety and economic development, let's hit those two things a little harder. How so? Well, let's, uh, let's look at it like this. For the first time, we live in a global economy. Uh, you know, your, your business partner isn't around the corner anymore. Your business partner could be across the world. We live in a global economy, which means one thing. We're going to have to move more goods faster, more efficiently, mm -hmm. all around the world to various ports. And more and more people are involved in those industries, in those jobs. Uh, Cincinnati is, I believe, in the top 10 of export-import cities in the United States. So this region is very, very tied to the global economy. We have to have better bridges, have to have better roads, so that we can prosper. How does having a facility like Amazon's facility in Hebron, having that here in this region and relying on Ohio's infrastructure almost immediately once it's out the door. How does that play into this global economy that you're describing too? Well, you know, this Amazon Prime putting their headquarters is, is a tremendous get. Sorry to the people in New York, but it's a tremendous get for us. Uh, and we have to build uh, a regional network system that will satisfy its needs and that of its customers. Um, so the challenge is great. We have Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana working on this. We work very closely with the State Department's transportation, trying to figure out those solutions. The clock is ticking. Amazon's going to be here in three and a half years. So we have to have a lot of these problems solved. But working very closely on this, things like the gas tax or other revenues to increase our ability to fund infrastructure is critical to attracting businesses like Amazon and then retaining them and also bringing other businesses there to work. So this idea that transportation is somehow separated from somebody's job and our, our economic well-being is wrong. 
So when we look at the proposal for the gas tax, if you shave a little bit off of it, are you not going to have what you need to get stuff done? I think, I think the point is, is that because the gas tax has eroded, we haven't increased in a long time, inflation has, had, has muted its impact, uh, cars are getting better and better gas mileage, so the, the revenue power has been declining. And at the same time that's been declining, the needs have been growing. So there's this tremendous gap. And I think that's why you see the momentum to do a gas tax now, is because I think it's now in the public conscience that something has to be done. Because this gap between the supply of money for infrastructure and the needs for infrastructure is growing and growing. And it's obvious to, the, I think, the average person. We're seeing this play out primarily at the state level so far. Um, where does the, what's the federal government's role? Because as we see, there, there's the state gas tax, but there's also the federal gas tax, which hasn't been raised in quite some time. Um, where do the feds come into this conversation? Okay, first of all, you have to understand the federal government is trying to do its part. I mean, they've initiated things like the infra grants, which go to mega freight projects, which we have benefited from in this region. They've increased the amount of money going to transportation. The simple answer is it's not enough. When it comes to the federal gas tax, they really have taken a powder. Um, there is no will to increase that gas tax in D.C. We were just there uh, last week. We talked to congressmen, senators, both sides of the aisle, and there is no interest in doing it. So the issue then becomes, okay, how do you increase federal spending at the, uh, for, for infrastructure? And if you're not going to increase the gas tax, then you're going to have to reprioritize it and take it from other programs, or you're just going to have to increase the deficit, which is getting pretty large, I think. Yeah. Right. Going back to the state level and, and even more hyper-local here in the tri-state, if the gas tax gets the thumbs up, if it gets the go-ahead, what projects here will initially and immediately get attention? Well, the way that this is distributed is uh, each county is going to get, would get $1.6 million, so they would be able to choose how they do that. The state would uh, pull in about $750 million, and they would disperse it through the State Department of Transportation, and then there's $350 million in maintenance. If you look at a map of all the projects in this region, and you put a red line next to it, the whole region has red lines, <laughs> because that's how many projects there are. There are bridges that are closed, bridges that need to be fixed, roads that need to be repaired. Uh, these safety measures have to be implemented. So it's not just one project, it's gonna be a multitude of projects. Would the Brent Spence be among them? Probably not. Probably, no? Probably not because, um, to, this, to this degree, the Brent Spence Bridge has to come up with a final fin financing package of its own. Once that financing package is put together, the reason you have to have it is so you can go to the federal government and say, okay, we've got the local financial package here. Now we need hundreds of millions of dollars to get this done. And there are ways to get that amount of money. So that is kind of separated out. Now in that financial package, the states will contribute. So by increasing the gas tax, it will allow maybe for more money to flow from the state into the, into the financial package. But this is not something that the, the Brent Spence Bridge is, is going to be addressed by. It's, it, Brent Spence is really it's el the elephant in the room. It's on its own, and we have a lot of work to do on that to get that financial package together. Just a lot of work overall. I want to thank both of you for this discussion. It's a very timely one for sure. Thanks, Thanks very much. much.